And it's the most popular Chinese takeaway dish in the UK, but if you don't fancy ordering in, then Gox joining us now to show you how you can get the authentic chow mein flavour at home. Hiya! Hiya! Do you know what? I have to say, I love this dish probably more than I love my family, so I'm very, very happy to share my recipe. So I'm going to go straight into our ingredients. OK. We've got all of our gorgeous veg, we've got some onions, mushrooms, peppers, etc. But whack some oil in your woks. You two, you want about a tablespoon and a half, I say, because the noodles do soak up the oil. It is so get smoking. that nice and hot. Good, good, good. Now, the first thing that's going to go in is our gorgeous white onion. So white onion in, Whoa. and these are going to sizzle. They're going to release all of their Mine's gorgeous, beautiful flavour. Get that in. Yeah, there and we then go. What? Lovely. Give it a good old mix. Yeah. And you want about 30 seconds on there if you can, but because we are short on time, we're going to go straight in with our garlic now. So garlic in, yeah. about a clove of garlic. I normally say a clove of garlic per person. So if you're having dinner for 20, 20 cloves, don't do that, I'm only joking. Then we're going to add our cooked chicken in. OK, so this has already been boiled. You've got leftovers, whack it in. And you want to get that to be frying with your onions, all gorgeous. Oh, smells And give it a good old stir now. Mix it all around. You want all the beautiful flavours of the onion to go in. If this starts to char, yeah. don't worry about it, because actually chow mein is really nice and it's got that slightly burnt edge to it. So just keep on moving it around. Yeah. Now, all of the rest of your veg, mushrooms, your peas, your peppers, your carrots, all in, and give that a really good stir. Right, so lots and lots of movement if you can. Yeah, now, in a moment, nice. we're going to make a very quick marinade yeah, and you're going to have it all in front of you, but we're going to use light soy, dark soy, oyster sauce so, so and the some honey. So that... OK, in a moment. Oh, in a moment. In a moment. Yeah, OK, so stir that around. You should be getting a really nice wilt on the vegetables already. I'm and getting what you a want wilt. To do is don't turn your heat down. You're getting a wilt. Following getting your a wilting. Wilt. Yeah, yeah, you're we're wilting. <laughs> wilting. Right. OK, now. Noodles, get your noodles in. And do you want to fry your noodles? Get your veg mixed in. Oh, my wok is very heavy. Let me Should tell I you right now. Should I put my bean shoots in? Okay, there in. we go. No, not yet. Okay. Because they cook really quickly. Okay. So, what you're going to do now is you're going to in a little pot, leave that to fry. You're going to put your oyster sauce into a little pot. You're going to put your light soy. How yeah. much oyster your sauce? Your dark soy. Uh, about a tablespoon of oyster sauce. Yeah. About a tablespoon of light soy, a tablespoon of dark soy, a tablespoon of honey. And you're going to mix it all in there and give it a good old whisk because that is going to be your gorgeous flavour. Guys, toss your wops. Toss your wops. Get so, tossing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Toss your wops. <laughs> there we go. You're working in Gokwan's Chinese takeaway now. There we go. Toss your wops. Yeah, yeah. So what should be happening yeah, now? Man. The noodles are all really cooking. Beautiful. Now, get your marinade oh and you're going to dribble your marinade all over your noodles and it's going to sizzle away. Oh, my God, look at that. <gasps> Delicious. And put your bamboo shoots in now. Go, go, go. Bamboo shoot. Right. Look at this. Can you see that lovely dark colour? All those soya sauces? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Very noisy. Go. Now, very noisy, but that's what Chinese food is. Dramatic. Now, white pepper, a good old pinch on top, and a little bit of salt, not too much because the soy sauce has already got salt in there. OK. Keep it moving around. You're now cooking down your bean sprouts. Everything else is pretty much done. There we go. Keep on tossing it. And what you're waiting for now is if you just move your noodles away from the centre of the wok, you should just see tiny little bubbles of liquid. That looks amazing. Who's is that one? That one looks amazing. Who's is that? Me. Me. That looks... That looks perfect, Phil. Pick me! I pick love me! It. It looks perfect. Holly, pick let me, me see yours. Let me have a look. That's mine. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. Now, switch your heat off. Not as good as his, Switch though. your heat off. You don't need any more heat. OK? What else do You're I gonna have? You're going to go now. What have sesame, you done that I haven't sesame done? Sesame oil. Ses <laughs> what am I doing now? Sesame Ses oil? Sesame seed oil. Oh, that's... Not going. Right, that's... you're going to dribble that over your noodles. Oh. Yeah. Then okay. what you're going to do is you're going to take your spring onions, your fresh spring onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. going to cook these. You want these... That's plenty there, Phil. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what about the chilli sauce? Right. 
OK, you, chilli sauce is going to the side, my darling. You're going to have that as an accompaniment. Right, right. Got you. Right. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to plate up. Can I just check to make sure it's all cooked? Holly, yours looks amazing as well. I promise you. Thank I know you're you. feeling very too left late. out. But no, it's never too late for a compliment, Holly. It looks amazing. Thank you, right, darling. Right, tongs, get your tongs out. What you're going to do is you're going to twist your noodles and you're going to get the noodles to the centre of your plate. OK, oh, yeah. can we see? There we go. And then you're just going to decorate with some of those wonderful Asian colours, the red and the green, all beautiful. And then you're going to put on some more spring onion and fresh chilli on the top of it. And that is the easiest nice. chow mein you will ever, ever make. And it's full of flavour, full of really nice... I'm going to get a close-up. Hold on, can you get a close-up of that? Can you see it? It's full of flavour, super healthy, and absolutely the easiest thing you can ever, ever eat. And I'm going to try it. Give it a go. Oh, my God, I'm exhausted. Are you going to give it a go? <gasps> yes, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. literally exhausted doing mm. it. That was high -priced. But that looks so nice. <laughs> I think yours has got more sauce. Mm. I think I was a bit stingy on the old sauce. Mm. Do you know what? I think, oh. Holly, all you're missing is a little bit of dark soy. That's all you're I missing. I think so. It, I think I was... It's perfect. It's really good, because mine's a bit light, oh isn't it? Oh. Yeah. yeah. But the Isn't that the most so incredible nice? flavour? It's Flavor's stunning. Really John, it's it's lovely. And that, bit of, um, that bit of chilli on there is really nice as well. Yummy. Absolutely. And do you know what? You can do this with leftover pork or beef or chicken or whatever you've yeah. got throwing. Think of it as an Asian sandwich. Just fill up your sandwich. Um, I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gok. Thank for you, all Gok. the recipe details. Miss Take you. a look Miss at our this one. We you. miss you more. Miss you. Bye. Miss you. you hang up first. But I love noodles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hang up first. He misses you not as much as noodles, though. <laughs> <laughs>